Planning Center Services is one of the apps from planningcenter.com. And this app is an incredible tool that you can use to plan your services, schedule volunteers, and communicate with your team. In this video, we're gonna look at how you can most efficiently import songs into a service. Hey everybody, my name is Joshua. I'm the creator of worshipresources.church. We help you discover and learn how to use quality resources that will make your church better. If you like this video, click like and that little bell and also subscribe below so you don't miss any of the new content we produce. Also, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. If you have any tips or tricks for Planning Center, be sure to let me know. Okay, here I am in Planning Center services. I'm in planning center services and plans. And we're going to add some songs to uh, a plan. So I'm going to go ahead to October 4th. Okay, so now we're going to add some songs to our service. Now I've used a template here to get me started. This is a template of our service, typical service. Um, you can watch another video to see all about templates. But uh, let's say, I want, first I want to change this header. I want to change it to just music. So now I have this header. Now I want to add some songs under music. Okay, so I'm going to click. You can click this add and click song. That's one way to do it. You can also click the S on the keyboard. It's a shortcut and it will pull up your new songs and one other cool thing is you can click s song and you can drag where you want the song to go there we go so it'll pull up your library now you see this little um, note, of, note at the top it says option click to add multiple or you can click alt click if you're on a windows so I'm going to hold down option and this is the, the really cool thing, is if you know the order that you, the songs are going to be in, uh, you just click them on the order that they're going to happen, and then they'll automatically be imported into your service. So I know we're going to start with Only King Forever. I'm holding down Option Still, and then we're going to go to Never Lost, and then we're going to sing uh, You Say, and then we're going to end with Living Hope. Now, we don't do Never Lost in B. Typically, we do it in A, so I'm going to change that to A. And that looks good. Now, I'm going to click Add 4. So now, you can see that it added all four of those songs in order right where I put them, right under the music. I'm going to close this for now, and I'm going to actually go scroll down and because Living Hope, we're going to do after the sermon as response. So now we've got Living Hope there. And I'm going to actually take out this response song. That was just a placeholder. So I'm going to take that out. Yes, I want to delete that. Okay. Now you may be saying, well, where's all the stuff on the left? In the old plan, and you can see this is still in beta, but on the old plan, everything's listed over here. Well, you might be seeing some of it. And it's here. So here's all my teams. Um, here's uh, files and notes. And uh, the, new, the new tab is called contributors. So you can actually see who has contributed to this particular service. But if you minimize each one of these headers, sorry, I have lots, a lot of people on this team. If you click, if you minimize them, you can actually collapse this whole sidebar which gives you more screen real estate which is especially nice when you start adding songs because you can keep this song list uh, open and it doesn't uh, reduce your screen size okay and you also of course can search for a song uh, let's say Waymaker and it will pull up the song and if you click on the song it's going to add the song at the bottom of your uh, service and then you, if you click these little handles you can drag it to 
wherever it needs to happen in the service. I'm going to close that for now. And now you see uh, some quick ways that you can add songs pretty quickly into uh, your service. One more thing before we go, and I'm going to click Add Song here. Uh, maybe you want to see the most recent songs. This little um, calendar will be very helpful. So this is um, basically in order. So you can sort them by title or you can sort them by when they were last scheduled. Okay. And that I use this all that feature all the time because uh, I don't want to do too many new songs back to back, so I want to know what we've recently sung uh, so I can add them to the order. Okay, I hope that was helpful to you. If you have any questions, be sure to put them in the comments. And if you have any tips or tricks about planning center services, let us know because we're always excited to learn uh, new ways and faster ways that we can create services in planning center services. If you haven't yet, go to worshipresources.church to check out all the free and inexpensive resources we direct you to. We are here to help you discover and learn how to use quality resources that will make your church better. So I hope you'll check out worshipresources.church today. Thanks for watching, everybody. God bless.